for all of that. All right, so let's look at where we're at in the world of championship. Yesterday's episode, which I am still slowly but surely getting season two VODs up on the other channel. And, uh, yeah, I've still got five more chunks to break up and put on there. It's just hard to get them on there that it, I, it's hard. I, I don't work at home five days a week now, so I can't like sit here and edit it in between stuff. Uh, I wish I had a laptop that I could, uh, edit that stuff on. I could do it at work and then bring it home, but it is what it is. So we were actually doing really well earlier in the season. Uh, we are now mid table, exactly mid table in 12th, which is where I think we belong. If you look at the XG table, our position is 12th. Our points say we should be in 14th. We're actually, our H XG is three more. And uh, our against is plus one as well. So we're kind of where we should be. I did play, please do not hold it against me. I played a game off stream. I know, I know, you all are probably going to be mad about this, but I just felt that it was a better thing to do to get past the month of November. But I played the Wigan Athletic game. And we did win that one 2-1. Uh, Miles Laburn scored in the first five minutes. And then we got a penalty, and it was 2-0 until after halftime. So there really was nothing. The only thing that really comes from this, here's the Miles Laburn goal. It's just the normal header. He does tie Sai Kujina, though, for the Sir Francis Drake record with that. Um, and then Leon Cullen, penalty kick. That The game was pretty boring after that point. Um, I just, for some reason, I did that just to get to where we could see our finances for the month because we are now insecure, and I was a little bit worried about that. Uh, yeah. I really wish I could take some of this transfer budget and put it toward the balance. But we would be in much better shape if it wasn't for those stupid loan payments we have to do uh, that's paying for that stadium. And uh, yeah, that hurts us. And that's out of my control. Yeah, the, I mean, yeah, we're paying on a $16.75 million loan, and it's 150 a month. So that's kind of, until 2034. So we got it for 10 years. Oh, my heavens. Okay. So, only you could save the Drakes with your subs and your bits. <laughs> So anyway, the board are still mad at us because we don't know how to play defense. Uh, I've been scouting defensive players maybe to help us out. I did have a meeting, the staff meeting, and they did say to reach out to Liam Cullen and offer him a new contract. And we did. So... We'll see what happens. It does increase his buyout. Not much, though, because his agent really wouldn't break. So I don't know if that was a good idea or not. But on the rest of them, I'm going to wait because we still got Oko Flex, Harrison Ashby, Bola, Tommy Lay. When he comes back from injury, their their contracts are out. Ben Goodliff, Inya Kirby. Um, there's just a lot of players that we've still got to figure out what we're going to do with. But we are again running. We've got two games, three games this week. We got Brentford, who are third on the table today. We then take on Huddersfield and then Rotherham at home. Those two teams are mid table. Brentford is probably going to be a tough one. Uh, they got Thomas Frank. I need to get one of these zip ups and like take my manager picture like that. 
I think that would be, I need like a, I actually got like a blue raincoat. Maybe I could pull it off that way. Maybe that's what I'll do. Their nickname is the Bees, the Bradford Bees. All right, here's the lineup we're going to run against them today. I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm actually going to move Miles Laburn up to the advanced forward spot. Uh, Liam Cullen picked up a little ding in practice, so he may not start, but I may pull him out if we needed. So I'm going to unfortunately send Kamara back. Kamara's manager actually come at me and was mad at the time that Kamara was playing, and I, and I tried to call his bluff. I said, well, if you're not happy, when the window opens, pull him home. And he said, okay, I will. So we will not have him uh, mid-season. So what I probably need to do is make another recruitment focus, uh, or maybe we got loans here. And we're going to have to find another, why is this not finding anybody? Oh, it's for loans. Is listed. Hmm. I think I just said that. But we'll have to find somebody else to come in to play striker. All right, so let's get to the first game today. We are at home against the Brentford Bees. They are third in the table, three points, four points out of first. So they're trying to get that automatic bid. I've kind of set us up tactically today to be ready for them. We've sold out Oko Flex. I put him over on the right side. And this may actually. I don't want his trait to be, there we go. I want him to run down the right. I think he's going to be better on the right side. We'll just have to see. And he plays better with Harrison Ashby. Bellingham and Hodge. Um, and then hopefully, I do got our youngsters in the backfield here. And I'm really worried about that. But we've got to do what we've got to do. On his weaker side, that's fine. Sometimes they're like going to him hard, and I'm just like, no, I'm not going to do that um, because we're just going to get hit. Hey, Yankee gal, what's going on? Hello there. All right, team's ready. Let's go. First game of the day. Got to get hyped. Got to get excited. They're in fair form. We're inconsistent. We're at Jack White Stadium today. One person got excited about me saying that. All right. Taking a look here. Head coach Thomas Frank. He's got Damsgaard up front. Zakiri, Lewis Potter on the wings. De Silva, Lazario, Norgard in midfield. Hickey, Sorensen, Pinnock, Anderson. And then Strakosha in goal. I've got to get a new pair of dress shoes. I just don't have the money to get them right now. All right, game is off. That may be a March purchase for me, his dress shoes. All right, free kick for them. Damsgaard to take it, sends it in. And Sorison gets his second goal of the season. And Brentford goes up early in this one. In the first six minutes, obviously, he was on him. He just beat him to the ball. 1-0 Brentford. We definitely got to maybe make a move to improve our defense. Uh, next. This next transfer window. Hodge puts it up. I'm going to take control again. Lewis Potter out on the wing. I think he pulls it back. Lazario. Oh, good defense there. Kamara comes out, finds Oko Flex. Oko Flex down the side, sends over to Laburn. Laburn, what a block by Strakosha. We'll get a corner out of that. And speaking of corners, let me double check this and make sure they're set up. I hate having to do this every time. 
Uh, yeah, we gotta reverse these rolls here. Probably won't be here for this one. Janelle Bennett to take it. Javel Bennett sends it in. Kamara tried to get to it. Bennett back with it again. Curves it over. Layburn heads it, but it's over top. Uh, I need dress shoes for work, uh, Yankee gal. I, I, I wear them to work. That's a good save there. One nil. Control of possession. I'm going to drop back a little bit. Not do uh, attacking. Ball staying around midfield a lot. It's uh, They've only had two shots. We've had one. I'm going to demand a little bit more out of them. We'll go floating crosses here. Starkosha with a goal kick. He goes short. I'm going to play it back in the back line, move it up to De Silva, over to Hickey. Hickey up to Potter. Good defense. No, he pulls it out of there. Nice save on that one. Norgard. Over to Lewis Potter. He'll go down the wing, looking to bring it over, waiting for other people. Finds the zero. Mullen in there, but Mullen gives it up to Damsgaard. They got Potter in the run. They're, uh, they're coming around our edges really good. Bola and Ashby both getting lit up. See if we can do something here. Hodge out to Harrison Ashby. Terrible pass. We get the ball back. Bellingham in the Oko Flex. Oko Flex takes a shot. And then, oh, Miles Laburn does it. His 10th goal of the season, and that's going to do it. He's going to break the record of Saku Jenna for the most goals in club. He gets the rebound. Actually, he just took it away from the defender. Puts it in the net for the equalizer in the 34th minute. And Miles Laburn is now your new all-time scoring leader for the Sir Francis Drake Football Club. Coming with a diving save. Hey, Mad Martin. What's going on? And everybody else who Hello there. walked in. Hope y'all are having a wonderful Saturday. Free kick here for them. They scored on the last one. Oh, and they're going to score on this one. That is two free kicks that they have scored on in this game. 2-1 Brentford right here before half. Wow. I feel like this body language thing doesn't... Me anything. Kamara is the worst player on the pitch right now. Because of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? I'll put Cullen in. Let's be a little bit more direct on our passing. All right, so Liam Cullen in. He is coming off a slight injury. Kamara, he is. Well, you weren't here, Mad Martin. Their coach messaged me and said, I don't feel Kamara's getting enough play time. And I called his bluff and said, well, if you're not happy, pull him out of his loan. And he said, okay, I will next window. So he's going to be leaving us midseason. And I'm not even mad about it. The only thing that inconveniences me is we're going to have to go out and look for somebody else to come in. Because Tommy Lay is still going to be out for a while. Mullen plays it up to Cullen. The Mullen Cullen connection. Oh, but they got they marked it through. Brentford is third in the table. Shot there. Harrison Ashby will knock it out. Brentford is actually one point behind Burnley right now. Uh-oh. Is this a yellow coming out here? A yellow card to Norgard. That was a rough tackle. We're going to get a free kick here. Harrison Ashby to take it. 
Pops it over the top. Cullen's there. Cullen looks. Oh, and it's ricocheted back out. We'll keep control. Joe Hodge, another hard tackle. And De Silva's out on the counter. We'll move it back to Potter. The winger goes up the wing. Who'd have thought? Back to De Silva. Norgard. Hickey. Hickey pops it over. Mullen will head it to coming. We'll end that highlight. And we're in another one here. Not sure what's going on. That was quick. Arkosha moves it into Sorsen, Lazirio, Zakiri, and Anderson. Go back into De Silva. Over to Hickey. Hickey's got room in the box. Takes a shot. Oh, my God. Harrison Ashby has to kick that one into the parking lot. And they're going to get a corner. All right. Let's, let's slow down just a little bit. I feel like as the seasons went on, we've not been able to keep up with our own tactic for some reason. Who is Potter? Good move down, late for people to come in. Hickey swings it over. It's blocked. We'll head it away, but we will not get control of it. Norgard resets it. Back to Sorensen. Bellingham tries to play it forward. Norgard, Sorensen. Probably time to make changes. We've got some tired lads out here and just people just not playing up the potential today about to see what happens here maybe a counter attack or something Cullen does get it Leon Cullen he'll go down the wing he's looking for a partner in crime sends it over it's knocked out and Dam's guards there he's going to send it forward and they counter real quick on us Potter with the speed takes a shot and coming has to make an amazing save good grief all right Bennett is wore out All right, two changes for us. Good lift in defensively for Andy Apan, Rack Saki in. Oh, coming good save there. I'm go over the top. Brentford's just they're they're kind of a tier above us. I want to say. Good defense, Oko Flex. Miles Labor and he heads it, but nobody's home. I may pull back and oh good grief. I may do our little counterattack thing. Let's see if we can change anything here in a minute. Colin is very frustrated. I'm not sure why. I'm gonna tell him to calm down. All right. Um, man, we are just sucking it up today. All right, last subs in for the last 15 minutes. Corner for us. We don't even get to see it, so nothing happened from it. 79th minute, Brentford leading 2-1 still. We'll play this when our back line should be back there. Hickey. And, oh my lord. <laughs> And that's probably going to seal the deal. 3-1 Brentford here in the 80th minute. What a blast. Great pass. Amsgard just obliterated that one. Peeled it before it made it to the back of the net. And they just did three subs. They're anxious. I don't even know what to do when... They're anxious. Probably no pressure. 
Poland takes the ball away. Looking for somebody. Raksaki's there. Tries to hit it up. Miles Laburn. Playing Miles Laburn in this uh, advanced role did not work. Damsgaard out in front as he can add another one to his record. He gets to Mape. Mapai probably. Coming will grab that one. Ten minutes to play. Is it up? Poland just couldn't get to it. Eighty-six minute. Not a good way to start today. We did get a win on the game I did off stream. So that kind of balances. This is me paying the price for that one. But again, teams at the top of this at the top of the championship are way different than what we are. Auburn out here gets interception. He's gonna play that up. Miles Laburn's out in front. Miles Laburn! And it's blocked. A chance to make it 3-2 there. We'll get a corner. Kirby sends it in. It's headed out. And that's going to amount to nothing here. Four minutes of extra time. Free kick for us. Good lift sends it up. Tries to hit Oko Flex. Skiglio gets to it instead. I don't know how he just kicked his own guy in the face. It bounces off and somehow they end up with it. Chance to counter here. Here comes Colin. Puts it over top. Here's Laburn, and he'll put one in. His 11th goal of the season. It didn't count. So why did he dive and hit that? That's what I don't understand. And I'm interested to see this offside. We get the ball. He's clearly not that close if they're disallowing that. I don't know about that one. I feel like we just got screwed out of a goal. That's probably gonna be the game. It is. We're going to drop this with 3-1. Brentford again, just a really good team. Brentford are sitting in third. They are tied with Burnley now, just the goal difference. We're still sitting in 12, 25 points. Only seven points out of the regulation or relegation zone. Not the regulation zone. Ah, oh, that's a rough one. You battled Stephen Thomas and got one over them. What impact has that had on you? I think Stephen Thomas will think twice before making comments in the future. What? What have I ever said to you? Okay, we're just gonna give him Thomas Bullocks because he's just uh, full of balls. <laughs> don't taunt the Great Dane. I don't remember taunting him. I don't remember taunting him at all. <laughs> Do you feel that your ambitions? Sure. Uh, Miles Labor's 57th league goal for the club today made him the club's all-time record goal scorer. That's an incredible achievement. Takes a special sort of player to set that record. Just how good was Mikhail Damsgaard? I don't want to talk about him. Miles Laburn has become Drake FC's all-time leading league goal scorer. Just how highly does that rank in terms of historical achievements? I'm delighted for Miles. Uh, you struggled at for, for form at home for a while. Are you ever put a finger on the reason why? Um, teams come here, stick 10 men behind the ball, park the bus against us. Yeah, they didn't do that. But they, they do come in and play a lot of five in the back. All right, Huddersfield Town and then Rotherham coming up later this week. Actually, I guess it's a new week since it's going to be Sunday. I think I asked the club for another physio. They'll probably say no, but 
I was looking at our coaching staff compared, like we're doing okay. We're about where we need to be with our money here for our coaching staff. Our scouting is top tier, but our physio is way below average. We're almost the lowest in the uh, league. I'm not even sure what ours is. Like, is this just add all of it together? So what do we got? 32, 30, 36, and the worst is 33. So yeah, we're pretty bad in the physio department. Well, I'm sure that's it as well. But with the injuries we've had, you would think that we would have um, a little bit better, you know, people to take care of our players. But we are financially insecure now, I think. So that is kind of a worrying issue. Laburn becomes the record league goal scorer, 57 goals by Miles Laburn. Previous record holder was Saku Jenna. Yep. How's he got an asterisk by it? Nope. We are not currently willing to just consider this due to the club's present financial situation. That's what I thought. I don't think we need to be this mixed up this next game, but we'll see. Drake FC going to this away game with every chance of walking away is something a slight favorites. I feel like every time they say that, it's bad. Uh, Janelle Bennett's individual passing has been a waste of time because vision passing a technique no longer represent weaknesses in his game. That's because he did have seven in passing and now he has eight. That means we're working on it. Let's not stop now. Uh, we should sign Cameron Baxter to a contract rather than risking a player of higher potential. Oh, I think I'll pass on that one. Sure, move him up. I, uh, Ramari Ford, I just don't have the place for him right now. He's a good player. Love to bring him in, but I just can't do anything with him. Mari Miller set back, obviously, because of his injury. Very good head coach support. Only average club atmosphere. Bola's game has fallen a bit over the last six months, and whereas he was once a star uh, championship left back, right now he's probably a leading League One level. So he's really dropped. Made really exciting progress recently. Y'all see this, right? Maybe they got the graph upside down. Like. I can't even look at his stuff since he's on loan. Yeah, I'm sure they're not going to do that. Tommy Lay has begun rehabilitation. There we go. Been 
general rehab. Boom. Let's go. Try veggie. All right, what do y'all got to say today? Olivia Osman from the Tavistock Soccer Review. How will your players respond to the disappointment after Brentford last time out? We've shown the right attitude of training. Chris Robinson, BBC Radio 5 Live. Does Janelle Bennett have the key attributes to unpick Huddersfield? I believe in him. Ross Webster, 442. There has been a large flow of support from the fans for your direct approach. Is that something we continue to expect of you? I made a commitment to the club to play in this way. We're going to try. Huddersfield are very clearly intent on playing possession-based game. Is there anything you want to say about that? Smile warmly. I don't have problems with it, but we going out there to make life extremely hard for them. Do you have any worries about going up against the team of the caliber of Wayne Rooney's Huddersfield? Um, <laughs> smile warmly. We know how tough they can make it, but we're confident about our chances. You got hit. What? World War II fan? Was it doing security or what? What, if, what have you done to yourself? Did you go pick a fight in Lowe's? The draw for the FA Cup third round takes place today. We'll view the draw. Let's see, league uh, championship teams, Bonorama. Oh, Premier League teams. We could get a good draw here and make some money. All right. I thought there was supposed to be music during all this. I can give us some music. Leicester, the first one out. They'll take on the Bristol Rovers or Tranmere. Sunderland. Oh, we're second out. We take on our rivals in our own division, Sunderland. Well, that wasn't a big dramatic thing at all. We just uh, come out very early. We have won against them earlier this season. And it's at Sunderland. All right, well, that's uh, an interesting draw. We get to play in a 48-7,000 stadium, uh, so. Not a very suspensable, but a neat draw. I was having my father move crap in the attic and drop the board. Oh, oh, that can hurt. So did they fully say you had a concussion? I guess I shouldn't be yelling at you. Be like, do you have a concussion? The Stadium of Light is where we'll be playing. Away the lads. Unless that's some kind of term I don't understand. When's the game? January 11th. So we don't get to worry about that for a month. All right. Uh, the fans and board accept the draw on this one, but they think that we're playing at the John Smith Stadium. They think that uh, there's a better chance for them to uh, get the win. Oh, let's see. Is there anything I want to change here? I'm going to put George Thomas in. He's been playing well over there. Ashby needs a rest. Colin. I'm going to leave Oko Flex up there. We'll let him play there. Bellingham. I don't like Tucker playing that spot, so I'm going to switch these two around. This is a very ragtag group that we've got out there. I'm not expecting good things from this. <laughs> not expecting good things from this at all.
Nick Freeman is now coming back with training. That's good. Uh, let's put, we can't do general rehab on him. Roshan Williams, does it seem... Uh, what's up, Roshan? Do you have something on your mind? Look, I've not been playing as often as promised, so I want to go on loan somewhere where I could do, where I could do that. Um... Uh, he's literally played in nine games, almost half of them. He is an impact sub, but he's a fringe player. All right, I'm going to get him out there a little bit more. He's starting this game, so. There's just something about that impact sub that I never can. I, I, I don't know why I even signed him as an impact sub. I can never figure out what they want. Said I probably had a mild concussion, got a bump on the noggin, and a cut, but I'm okay. Well, I'm glad to hear you're okay, because that can always be an iffy thing. What does Abu Kamara want to play? He's supposed to be advanced. He is an advanced forward. He wants to play advanced forward. I have him in advanced forward, and he's upset that he's playing in a weak role. I don't understand these people. Oh, they're in woeful form, and we are inconsistent. Oh, everybody's relaxed and ready to go. All right, head coach Wayne Rooney. I think I should know him or something. Uh, Castro up front, Artola, Rudani, and Ojo. Playing in the advanced midfield roles. Defensive midfield, Kasumu, Edmonds Green. Backline, Ruffles, Lees, Hellick, Pearson, Lee Nichols in goal. Michael Salisbury is your, he's named after the state. He is your referee tonight. It is 44 degrees and it is drizzling. Referees, we got the black kits on. We usually play well in the black kits, let's go. Oh, Ojo takes down Janelle Bennett early there. Give him a card. First 20 seconds. That's what I want to see. Encourage the lads here. 20 minutes in, not much is happening. They've had one shot. We've had two shots. Throw in here. Good lift. He's going to play it over the top. He's got Thomas up there. Thomas couldn't get to it, but Mullen's going to come up and grab it. He's looking down the wing, looking to send it over to somebody. Pulls it back to Inya Kirby. Kirby takes a shot. It deflects. We'll get a corner off of that. Bennett sends it in. It's headed away. We're so bad at passing. Corner for Huddersfield. Come on, guys. Don't give this up. Are you kidding me right now? How many set pieces have we give up? between the start of the day and then yesterday. 
In the box again, Castro takes that. They're going to get another. I like their big screen in the corner they got. Tola sends it in. I was going to say, I don't want to give up another one. Throw in for us. Can we find an equalizer here in the 34th minute? No, we're going to turn it over. Roshan Williams wins the ball back. Melbourne tries to push it up to Bennett. It is turned over. And they got Pearson down the side. Big move on him. He'll blow past the defense. Brings it back to Ojo. Ojo dribbling in. Kasumu. Rodani. Ruffles. Ruffles have good things. Melbourne heads it away. Ojo gets it. Ojo takes a shot, misses everything. Corner for them. I don't see. I didn't see that hit anybody. I'm not sure why they get one. Free kick. Roshan Williams takes it, sends it over the top. Ball back. Oh my God. They're like fighting in the corner there. Oko Flex wins it. Kamara takes a terrible shot. Kirby with the ball. He's going to head down. Plays it up to Janelle Bennett. Bennett gives the ball up. Melbourne. Not win possession. We will get it back. India Kirby on the run. Plays it up to Kamara. Kamara takes a terrible shot. It's blocked. We'll get a corner on that. You follow the chain. You know what you did was wrong. But the question is, how are you going to make things right? Corner comes flying in. Oko Flex heads it out. Sonaldo, 432. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Hello there. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Huddersfield still lead 1-0. Here, closing in the halftime. Coming stops that one. Let's... Come on, guys. We've got to win the ball. Oh, they come in in there. Ojo Kirby tries to win it back. They'll take a shot, and they're going to get another corner. How many corners have they won today? They want to put him. Tell him to calm down. Forty-fifth minute. A minute of extra time here. They'll throw in. They move it back to Lees. Over to Hellick. Pearson. Pearson holds the ball up. Looking back. Great struggling here. Ojo. Great pass in. Rodani's in. He'll take the shot and they're going to go up 2-0 right before halftime. And once again, the Drakes come out flat as water. We'll get one back. We'll get a corner here. And the answer to that is no. As Kirby doesn't even get a chance. The referee blows the whistle. All right. Um... Pull this back just a tad. Try to play counter in the second half. Down 2 nil to Huddersfield. Again, I told you all we were going to settle. We shot way up the table, and then I knew it was going to kind of hit us that we just weren't that good. We also lost four key players there for a while. Probably going to have to make some subs here in a minute. Let's see if we can get something here. Kirby turns, tries to play it over, trying to find Janil Bennett. They'll hit it back to the goalkeeper. 54 minutes in here. I'm going to go ahead and queue up some uh, subs because we got players out here that are just 
sucking it up. Oh, I see that now. I didn't even, I just looked at the one and thought they didn't have that. I see it now, Travis. Castro with the run here. Oh, Roshan, get to it. Okay, good. Maybe a counterattack opportunity. Nope. That's what we were trying to set up for, but it's just not playing out. Melbourne gets that one. Up to Janelle Bennett. Just couldn't get the pass there. All right, our changes are in. Let's see if it does something here. Rocksaki, he's going to play that over. He's got Janelle Bennett. Janelle Bennett into the box. Why did he not pass it to Layburn? Why did Janelle Bennett not pass that? Oh. Corner for Huddersfield, and they get another one. Oh my God, two games in a row, we have just got stomped. Look at this, can't even hold on to the ball. Okay, we get it back. They better come out with something good here. I'm gonna get really mad. I don't think passing in the space is helping us at all. I really feel like they're just throwing it up there and they just suck. Ruffles in, are they gonna get a fourth? No, coming stops that one. Two changes for Huddersfield. This is getting rough. Hog in, hits his own man. He'll get the ball back. Melbourne's there. Rocksaki taken down. Come on, give him, give him something. Oh, man, this is... All right. I mean, we don't have anything to lose at this point. Hey, Travis the Unknown, subbing. Let's go 55 months. Hopefully you bring some luck. Give you a little Golden Girls action. Appreciate it, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glad you come in here to see this 3-0 trouncing that we're getting from Huddersfield. We've had seven shots, only one. One on target.
That's probably the last little move. I mean, we've not created anything today. This has been awful. Like, we played some brilliant football this season on some games, but then we played like this sometimes, and I'm just, like, lost. And then people like Roshan Williams, who's on a 6-1, wonders why I don't play him anymore. The only thing we achieved today was getting yellow cards. So we dropped down to 13th. Potentially serious injury suffered by Huddersfield's Connor Mahoney. Great. Are they going to call us out for that one too? Were you have expecting the result to go against you like that given how highly you spoke of Wayne Rooney? Shake kid. Uh, I've got to say my comments backfired. Has this result prompted any consideration to altering your approach? Um, I don't think we need major changes. We just need to change a few things. Fair to suggest you must be angry after that result. It was appalling, and I made my feelings known to the team. You showed a little let up, and it's fantastic. I think we're still relegation. I don't know why they're saying that. Kamara vows to end his goal. I'm going to criticize him. Point finger. You're declining. You need to do something. I'm going to trust my gut in this next one. We got three days. I'm going to try to get us back on. Do you agree with Stephen Thomas that his pre-match comments about your playing style backfired? I think the people are just looking for a stick to beat Stephen with. His comments had nothing to do with the result. That's not how soccer works. Hey, look at Wayne Rooney being the voice of reasoning. I'll take it. I'll, uh, I'll definitely take it. We had a .49. That's, that's so bad. We just, oh my God, it was just awful. Why are we working on defense here? Defending free kicks. We sucked on that. Abu Kamara has been doing terrible in training. Team's just really been doing crap here lately. I don't even know what to say about it. Yankee gal, my interesting uh, thing has been going to the grocery store. I've lived a very boring life here lately. Liam Cullen has signed a new contract. There we go. His release clause is now 1.7. He is definitely making a little bit more money than he did before. We definitely need to see more out of him. I would say that if anybody makes an offer for that Bellingham kid, that the board will take it immediately. 
because it would pay off our debt. So Rotherham United coming up. And then we've, we're, we're, we're struggling against all these teams at the bottom half of the table. I just, it doesn't make sense to me. The Drake FC youth intake preview. We have an early estimate of our youth. It says it's going to be a good intake. Center backs and fullbacks leading the charge. Everything else is pretty blah, which I don't believe it. Abu Kamara is no longer concerned about my tactical decisions. Cash strap Drake FC's home advantage gives them in the edge. Uh, Talaji Bola prepares to face his former club. The match will see Talaji Bola come back to play against his old club. Are you looking forward to his return? Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing Talaji. He's a great person. I just hope he won't enjoy our game too much. I, I don't believe it, though, Zenus. We only had one good player come through the last one. Uh, yada, yada. You know what? I'm just going to speed through this because they're asking stupid stuff. I mean, the last player that we got that was decent. He's out on loan. Is this Quevin Farum? And he still could be a five-star. He's starting to develop really well. His teamwork and flair are amazing. We'll just have to see. He's just, uh, at 18, though, I was kind of hoping that he would get a little bit better, but we'll have to see. So maybe like a diamond in the rough sometimes. We're the worst team at yellow card, and we're the worst defense, allowing 41 goals. We uh, definitely are struggling. 